what up you guys so today's video is going to be a haul video so it's been a while since i did one of these on my channel everything i have today is drugstore because the drugstore has been on the come up and um i was impressed so i picked up a few things a few of them i've tried out a few of them i haven't so what i have tried out i will show you guys or give you a mini review in this video what i haven't tried out i will let you know in a future video what i like um or i might do like a get ready with me and like try it i don't know we'll see so first things first let's do hard candy because i got two things and they kind of seem counterproductive so obviously this one's open so i have used it um but they are the sheer envy fix it serum and i have one for mattifying skin and then one for hydrating skin this one i cannot say it actually like mattifies my skin because right before I, I started this video i had to blot hella oil off my face um which I also used this foundation today. And I don't know if you guys watched my review. If you didn't, you should. Um, but just a quick spoiler alert. It does get super oily on me. So I was hoping that wearing this would kind of like counteract that problem. It did not. So I don't know how I feel about this. But I am in interested in seeing how the hydrates skin or the hydration one works. Because I do have some dry spots on my face. Um normally my face is oily but sometimes it does get dry especially in the winter which we're actually going into spring so i don't know i just wanted to pick up this one too so i don't know we'll see how i like them later i'll let you guys know the next thing i got was oh also from hard candy was this powder here um it is the hard candy blurring and pore refining loose finishing powder so i've not tried this out yet but i'm very interested in seeing how it does so i was thinking you know i really need to like work on my instagram and get it popping and of course instagram is pictures and you kind of want to look flawless in your pictures so they kind of got me with the blurring and pore refining i was like hmm so is this going to be like a filter for my face in a powder form or no so i don't know they also had a um selfie um primer that i kind of want to get just to see like how it works i don't know i didn't pick it up because i was just like i got enough primers but i kind of want to go back and get it i don't know but i do want to try this it is a yellow powder so it'll probably not be an all over powder for me it'll probably just be like a under eye setting powder under eye setting powder which this is typically where I get um pores like to show up at anyway so there's that all right next I have for you guys this brush which y'all I'm trying to love it but I don't know <laughs> it is the new foundation blender by Real Techniques so it's a two they're 213 brush and I got this from Target Target has been on the come up. I've not been in Target in a while. And so when I went and I saw this, I was like, what? Let me find out. So I tried this last night when I tried to film a video. That was a fail. Um, and then I tried it again this morning when I did my foundation. And again, I just, I wasn't happy with the application. I was not happy with the application. My favorite brush to use is my Tarte brush. Um, this one here. And so I was really hoping that it would be kind of similar to it. But it is just... I don't know like maybe i'm not using it correctly but i'm just i don't know <laughs> i wouldn't repurchase honestly i would not repurchase i would just like skip it i would say skip it um next products i have for you are by revlon and this is the foundation and the concealer and i'm thinking i might do a review on these if you guys want one let me know but it is the candid line so this is new and it's supposed to be a natural finish anti-pollution foundation um, and antioxidant concealer. So I tried these also in that failed video last night and this foundation, not a fan. <laughs> you know, spoiler alert, again, I wasn't really a fan of it. It's definitely like a natural, natural, natural finish. Like, I don't know, I was expecting some like medium coverage. It was like tinted moisturizer coverage to me personally uh, as far as the concealer I'm actually a fan of it kind of sort of um I don't really know what this brand is supposed to be like is it supposed to be like photo ready like you know you can just take pictures and it makes you look flawless I don't know if that's what it, you're going for with this brand or not but I do like the way the applet the concealer applies and the applicator of it I'll show you guys um because that other video will probably never make the light of day but i am a fan of the applicator 
Um, and I like this color. I'm not mad at it. It's a good highlighting color. I'm just, I'm not... Again, I'm not really feeling the concealer, but this was, it was like that with the L'Oreal too. Like, I really like the L'Oreal concealer, but I'm not really a huge fan of the con the foundation itself. I don't know. It's really weird. So, next I have Wet n Wild. We have a ton of stuff from Wet n Wild, you guys. So, first things I'll show you are these two lip colors here. I have them in the colors Cedar Later and Sin Nudes. Sin Nudes is the nude color. And I got these because... I don't know in a couple of my videos I've really been feeling like the nude lip with like a brown lip liner so that hold on clearly it's not gonna focus all right so if you guys can see that is what the colors look like I like to pair them together that was the purpose of me purchasing these but they are supposed to be the liquid mega last liquid catsuit high shine lipstick I will say the shine does not last as long as I would like it to, but I think it's because I'm thinking it's going to be shiny like a lip gloss and it's not really. So I don't know. I want to show them in a video so you guys can see what I mean, but I do love these colors. Um, they also had some reds. They had like a, a nice selection of these. I just really wanted nude colors. So that's what I got. I also got the sprays so these have already made their way around youtube but just so you guys know so everyone on my channel knows i love coconut um i'm a really big fan of the smashbox Coco smashbox coconut water i also have the mac um coconut mist spray this was four dollars four sixty eight so five dollars um and it smells just like them like if i could mix the two of them together this would be the perfect smell and also I really like the mist of this one like it doesn't soak your face but it also like gives you a nice like I can spray once here once here and it like covers my face completely like I really like it um so definitely thumbs up on that one this one is cucumber and this one is rose I did get these just because you know why not I like the smells of them I haven't smelled those two, but I do like cucumber smells, and I also like rose water. I'll let you guys know in a video, like, how um, potent the smell is, because I know some people aren't really, like, a big fan of scented things. So, I will let you guys know how those go. The next two things I got were the Photo Focus Powders. So, I got one in Banana, and I got one in Deep, and I think these were $6. They were, like, $5.62. And I was on the fence about getting the deep one just because, like, if you guys can see the color, I wasn't sure if it would be too dark for me. But I'm also, like, we're getting closer to summer. Or as we go into summer, I'm going to get darker. So I feel like this will probably work. Um, and in the meantime, I've been using the banana powder. Um, my quick review of it is it's nothing to write home to mama about. But it's also not bad. So I like it. Um, you know, I like it. It's okay. It's it's not going to knock any of my other ones out of their places anytime soon, but it is a good one for what it is. And you do get a lot of product for $6. So, you know, those are good things, I guess you could say. Um, Why am I out of breath? Like, I don't know what's going on in life, but I'm out of breath right now. The next thing I got was this Ultimate Brow Highlighter. Um, A few years ago, I had a NYX one like this. And it kind of just reminded me of that, and it said it was new, so I was like, ooh, I don't have a, you know, brow highlight. I really like the one by, is it Maybelline? It may be Maybelline, but it's like a, a nice nude color. This is more like a pinky nude, but the one that I had was like a brown nude color, and then my sister stole it, so I've never replaced it since then, but I really did like it. So I was thinking I was going to go back and get that one, and that was what I was looking for when I stumbled across this whole Wet n Wild display, so I just picked up that one. It's really, really nude. So if you're lighter than me, it'll be great for you. Um, if you are darker than me, I would stay away from it. It's a waste of time, honestly, if I'm just trying to, you know, save y'all some coin. There's that. Next thing I have is the Wet n Wild sponge. I love this, okay? <laughs> I think this was $5, like $4.68 too. Um, 
and I love this. Like, I really do like the sponge. They they knocked it out of the park with this one. My favorite drugstore sponge of all time is Filthy, but it's the e.l.f. sponge. And, like, if you guys haven't heard of this one, this one is it's a bomb sponge. Okay, like, really, really good. I like it even more than I like the Real Technique sponge. But this is, like, if this, this is number one, this would be number two for me. So, I really do like it. It's not too like spongy so it's gonna soak up product but it's not too hard that it's not gonna like help blend it in so it's a really good sponge happy medium definitely a great buy for five dollars like legit you can't top it all right so my nose started running i had to take a break i'm sorry y'all i'm like i'm getting sick but anyways so i got my swatches ready for y'all all right so this one right here i'm sorry they're blending into each other this is all glown up which is like the rose gold color I hope you guys can see it. This one right here is Hustle and Glow, which is the gold color. And then this one right here is I'm So Lit, which is like a champagne gold that's really pretty. And there's a third one, but it's more like a pinky highlight. And that's not really my vibe. So I decided to just leave that one where it was in the store. Because I was just like, I know I'm not going to use that. And I mean, if you really, really want it, y'all can go out and try it. And let me know how you like it. But I knew that that's not one that I would ever reach for in my collection so that's why I left it there all right so that was all of those and like I said these were 562 for each one which again is a little pricey but you do get a lot of product so far with using them like I said all glown up is my favorite and it's probably like to me the smoothest one but they all have this like a look it's a little glittery if if you know what I mean like I don't know how to describe it but it's like it's a little chunky it's not like a a really smooth highlight and I'll be sure to use it in a video coming up soon probably like a get ready with me or something but it's like it's a look like it has the potential if you use too much of it to look like it's chunky and glittery so that is what I would say of these highlighters they are pigmented but it just looks a little chunky kind of sort of all right so the last two products i have are from rimmel so i've tried this brand this actual um line before but the foundation color that i got was not um my shade so i ended up not liking it well me obviously because it didn't work for me but they actually released some new shades which i have not seen that anywhere but i was in walmart and happened to be strolling through the aisles and lo and behold I saw this brand so I got the color mocha which I don't know if mocha is a new color or not I think this this did say it was a new color um and I'm hoping that it's gonna match me but I don't know because it's really hard to like match yourself in drugstore foundations because they just don't I don't know they just they don't I don't feel like they put enough like so you can see like okay is this really gonna match me or no so I got this because it said it's a full coverage mattifying foundation and because I was just looking like hellaciously oily in the store I was like I need a matte foundation so I saw this it was five bucks so I was like I'm gonna try it out and see if I still like it. And then the other thing that I got was the Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer. I don't know if this is new or not. I don't remember seeing it when I got the foundation the first time I tried it so I feel like this might be new but um yeah i'm excited to try it i got the shade almond which looks like it should be a pretty good like spot concealer and the reason i decided to get my actual shade which looks like that um the reason i decided to get my actual shade in the concealer is because a lot of days i will actually do just like spot conceal on my like lower face and then highlight right here cover with the powder and go um, and so I don't have a lot of like my shade concealers. I have a lot more highlighting concealers because traditionally I'm just wearing a foundation so I just need a highlighting concealer. But I did want to get one that was more like my shade. So I feel like this will be a good my shade and it'll also go well into the summer for me. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. We'll find out. But that was why I got that shade. I also wanted to get the one Golden Amber, which was a shade up. But I was like, I already have enough highlighting concealers. I really don't need to get another one. Plus, I was afraid that with a mattifying one, like under my eyes, it would dry it out and look ugly. So, that was the other concern I faced with that. Alright, so, so I got these two <laughs> as well. These are from the Pro Fusion line from Target. I don't know if it's from Target or they're just carried in Target because I haven't seen them anywhere else. But I got this palette here. I'm sorry the ring light is blinding you guys. But it is a palette called Sienna's. 
and it's pretty much just like a lot of super warm tones can you guys see that so they're very very warm red tones not anything that i don't have already in my collection but we know that i like my warm colors so is it really a surprise that i would buy that palette i don't think so i also like the chocolate one which i which had like some greens in it so i don't know i might go back and get that one i think that palette was only ten dollars and the colors are pigmented so i would definitely recommend it if you are getting started in makeup as a beginner that would be like a a palette that i would dream of having personally because i just had elf palettes when i started out makeup um the other thing i got was just this lip duo i really want to work myself up to trying one of the kylie lip kits but i don't really like a lot of lip stick as much like i'm not really a liquid lip kind of girl i'm more like a gloss um kind of girl so i decided to try this one first just to see if i even like the idea of a lip kit and the colors i got was imagine and it's pretty much just a like your lips but better shade it's like a really nice rosy color like everything that we have and actually i got these from target too so i was like already in the shade range and i was just like am i really overdoing it like am i ODing with buying this too but can you really od with makeup i don't think so so now i'm officially done with my haul i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you are most excited to see me try out um if there's anything that i did not review in this video leave a comment down below and i will dedicate a whole video to it for you guys and i think that is everything that i have for today i'm gonna go because my voice is starting to crack so i will see you guys in my next video